arrived at Midwest PPG here in Franklin, Indiana, one of our alliance partners. Uh, we're really excited to be here. It's been a year since we came to visit Dave and Matt, uh, Dave Halcom and Matt Massey. Um, they've been alliance partners with us now for, I think, coming up on a year and a half. And they run a really fantastic school. These guys are booked out quite a bit of time because of the quality of the facility and the training that they give. So we're going to do a little montage on that while we're here and hope you guys enjoy it. Good. This is our last um, stop on the Alliance tour, and, and it's kind of saved, I won't say we saved the best for last, but it definitely is a special place because- It really is special. Last year we came here, we sat down with Dave and Matt, talked about their passions and why they wanted to teach the way we taught and what their experience had been their first few Alliance classes teaching the aviator method. And then now a year later to see them with over a thousand student flights this year alone. It's, yeah. it's incredible. You said 1,059 just this yeah, summer. Something like flights. that. Yeah. They're doing really well. They have a fantastic facility. The, their reputation precedes them. Everybody Indeed. who's been here just loves Dave and Matt. So we got here yesterday. We got to have some great times. We went to a Viking bar and had a yeah. beautiful dinner. We drank mead out of big, what do they call Tusks those things? Yeah, and it was it was an awesome experience. We got to play card games and just got to be part of the aviator family here and really share what these guys love so much. Plus, this flying site is absolutely incredible. You're surrounded by well, eight foot, nine foot high corn. <laughs> and and right it, you have so much to explore. So it's it's great to come back. Uh, we wanted to let you guys have a few minutes to, to listen to Dave and Matt themselves, to hear about what their experience has been like for the last year. And uh, that's all I have to say. Sounds great. Dave Halcom, Midwest Powered Paragliding. I've been flying since 99, 2000. I'm not sure the exact date. Started instructing, I think officially 2007. My name's Matt Massey. I've been Flying since about 2010, free flight and speed flying. I've been flying paramotors for about four years and the last two years I've really been like full time, this is my job. I, I don't ever wake up and think, oh, I don't wanna go to work today. It's, it's a joy every day. We've been Alliance partners for probably two years now, I think close to two years. Hopefully I've given them a few tips, uh, but they give us quite a few tips and we bounce things off of each other. Uh, it's been a pretty good relationship from the very beginning. So our facility is at Franklin Flying Field and then south of Indianapolis, about 30 miles. And I've been here training for about five or six years. We've just moved into the, the bigger hangar here. We've got all different kinds of contraptions to simulate different phases of the flight for students. So it's not like this big, intense, crazy experience on their first flight. I think our simulator is one of the better ones because we can go to full power in it. Uh, practice getting in and out of the seat at full throttle, hanging out of the seat with your legs dangling, not touching the ground. I think that's kind of important. We have a classroom here, air conditioning, heating, which is also nice to train almost year round. We knock off for the winter months if it's freezing cold. We're in a really awesome location to learn to fly. We're far enough south um, that we get some really good long periods of flying weather, excellent, excellent flying weather. 
Um, we're also just on the edge of mountainous foothills, so we've always got really smooth air up here. Um, it's very consistent. We have a really wide open field to train in. The airspace above us is virtually empty. There's all kinds of stuff to see. Um, you can go any direction, three or four miles, and see something new in any way you go. When it comes to being an instructor, I I probably get the most joy out of the solo days, the day that they get their first flights. I, it's as much of an adrenaline rush for me when students make their first couple flights. To see guys giddy like children when they're, you know, 40, 50 year old men that own their own companies, some are doctors, some are engineers, we get everybody. That's pretty much what brings me back every time and, and it's pretty amazing how these guys after seven days are looking like they've been flying for years, but they, are, they have to work pretty hard at it. It's really cool to watch our students evolve when they arrive. On the first day that they're here, you can tell everybody's kind of apprehensive, a little bit nervous, kind of staying off to, on their own. I think PPG training is the great equalizer. Some guys that you think aren't gonna get it, they get it really well. Some guys you think are gonna get it, they, it takes them a little longer. And that's, that's another really amazing thing about the training. By the time we start having our first flights together, the group starts to gel, and then by the time that group is finishing up their flights, most of the time after seven or eight days together, um, that little group is almost a little family. And it's kind of weird, because seven more days, we start it all over again and get to do that over and over all season long, and it's just wonderful. I remember when I first started, I wanted to tell the whole world about how incredible this thing was, and I wanted to spread the word and get a bigger community, and the, that's why I became an instructor, was to teach more people how to do this so I could have more friends to fly with. Now it's gone all the way up to this, uh, so all your students become part of this group, and the group just keeps growing and growing. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. The long journey is almost behind us. Another quarter mile up the road, and five weeks of Alliance and air shows done. Alliance Tour 18. The grand finale. Let's roll the RV around this corner. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. I, I get a 70, dude. Just roll it. <laughs>